Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. This is JCP. Interesting play here in JCP because I can't even tell you why I did this today. <laughs> the fact that I saw it, uh, I saw I was going to do it. I don't know. Some of those days you're looking for stuff to do, and today there was absolutely nothing. Uh, there was one thing that rated good enough, but I didn't feel like I had a big enough target in it, and I didn't like anything else, and I knew the market was bullish. And I was looking for something that I really had conviction in. And actually, being able to train with conviction really, really helps you. It helps you in two ways. One, it helps you make money when you find conviction, have conviction, and see something with conviction and you do it, like I did this today. Or if you don't have conviction in something, then you don't do it. And if you don't have conviction, then you don't do it. So if you don't have conviction, then you don't take the trade. And I didn't have conviction in a lot of stuff today. So basically, let's go over the JCP. Honestly, this really didn't get today. And just I'm just playing a chart that I'm in love with here to the downside. And so, and I saw this. I saw this. I saw it before it did it. It was it was very aggressive to do this today. It was a great call though. It's working and uh, it's still working. So target today is 830, 825, 817 and $8 and then 750 and this could have a huge target today. And I saw that. I saw it this morning. I saw the potential for this to set up. It was very, very aggressive to do this, though, because uh, I did it so early. <laughs> so I actually shorted this all the way back here. There, I did it. It looks like a piece of gobbledygook, but I just, I just, I saw the daily chart. That's what, that's what I saw the daily chart. Tell you, play the daily chart. Play the daily chart. And then it rallied up again here and set up here in the 15 minute. You could have done it out here in the 15 minute, and this doesn't always happen, but it actually did the out in the five minute as well. It just so happened that the five minute and the 15 minute were the exact same. Uh, so that was a good place to add and then lower the stop. Dropped again, broke a low, dropped again and broke a new low. It's bouncing off of 833, which is really 832, was which is a number. It was a number. So if you're in this, if you're in this now, you could have a tight stop here. It shouldn't go over here if it's going to go back down again on the day. It might be done for the day though, because 832 was a target. I mean, it's got within three cents of 830, and the market's very strong today. But this says nice follow through continuation, no matter what this does today. If it closed right now, pretend it was four o'clock or 356. This is lower tomorrow. I mean, this is lower now. It really has a beautiful look to it here. And I actually was, talked about this, I don't remember when, but at some point because it was, I was saying here that I never in a million years would have bought this bullish gap and I never would have bought this gap down failure here. And I would have never bought this gap up here. Oh, I know what we're talking about. We're talking about it because I said to Diane about um, if she had a million dollars, would she buy this? And she said no. So that was a good decision. And do you see how, what this is doing here now? So the shorts are going to start to come back into this JCP again here. I, I, I think it's going to be somewhere under 8-ish, possibly even under 7. Uh, but JCP Penny is still in play here today. This is an all-day play now. Even if you did it in the morning, it's an all-day play to short. Stock will close looking very similar to this today. We'll never make it over the high today. We'll have a nice fat red bar in the day and with a potential for a dream target. And this is a little bit of a snail, so you don't really have to babysit it. It was a great call that I made this today because it was hard to see what was gonna happen before it did it, but I did see it and it was a good call. And as soon as you took it, you were up in it and we were up as soon as we took the trade and every chance we had to, to make money, it kept going and working beautifully and kept giving you more conviction and more confirmation. And as the market rallied, this kept doing everything great and never did anything wrong. Ever since the first trade, it never did anything wrong. So, you know, some days you don't have anything to do and you get, you know, have a good eye or you get lucky and you see something that's amazing and it works and you just, it's a, it is a happy trade. It's a happy trade because it was a great call that you're up money in as soon as you take it and, and, and you know that you have a lot of conviction in it where you don't feel like you have to really just babysit it. It's not whippy. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great show of weakness here, beautiful trade, and I love taking trades where you're up money as soon as you take them. So really nice call on JCP, and, and I just want to clarify with everyone, this actually is not a gap. 
I can't really explain why I did this today other than the fact that I saw it was going to do it before it happens, and I do have a good eye to see things before they happen. So as you become better at reading charts, you will be able to do that too. Okay, I was talking about this earlier today too. No one is born a good trader. You must learn how to be a good trader. You learn the skill. And the more you trade, the better your skill gets. Okay, so that's why this idea of being on streaks is ridiculous because you will get better over time. You will get better over time as your skills improve. And everyone that trades does. You have to learn what to do which many people don't know how, but if you do learn what to do, your skills will improve over time and you will get better and your eye gets better. Your eye gets good at seeing and spotting weakness or strength and then that's what you play on. So it's a nice short here today. I prefer to go short. I love to short. I love to short. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in more information on the upcoming GAP class, it's this weekend at March 22nd and 23rd. If you'd like more information, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. And uh, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks, everybody. This is JCP, Stocks with Show Play of the Day. See where it goes. Nice day. Thanks.